So I was, you know, I live in California and I was researching or studying up on the, the, the recall here the, uh, uh, for the governor. And I was reading up on the, the leading uh, candidate, uh, Larry Elder, I was reading on his platform on his website and I was, he's a Republican. And I, so I was surprised to find uh, no mentioning of the usual things uh, that turned me off about that party. There was no mention of religion, hardly. There was uh, no mention of nationalism, hardly, uh, or at all. Uh, just very light on collectivism in general and altruism in, in general. And instead, he was talking about school choice and uh, he rejects an, the kind of the anti racism thought and uh, having, a, having a consistent energy policy and, uh, and just finding how, figuring out how to keep businesses in California and lowering regulations, just stuff I generally agree with. So my question for you is, you know, first of all, what are your thoughts about the recall in general? And then do you have any uh, opinions on Larry Elder? Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm uh, generally favor favorable towards recalling Newsom. I think Newsom's a disaster and any, any one of these governors in California have been real disasters. We, this, the, 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 the what was the governor that we were called 20 years ago or something? I forget his name, but um, uh, Schwarzenegger stepped in and replaced him in a similar kind of process to this. So it is, um, uh, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see uh, government being challenged by the people, uh, even if the process is not the most rational process to do so, right? So it's not the case that you have a recall and then you have an election. The recall is the election. So you vote in the recall, both whether you want to recall Newsom or not, and then you vote on who you would want to replace Newsom. So first, no Democrat is on the ballot, I think, because Newsom's on the ballot in a sense, right? There's there's at least one. There is at least one. Okay, maybe, maybe. I think there's a lot. I already got the ballot. There's like 40 candidates on it. I already, I already mailed it in. There's a whole, there's a whole bunch. So uh, there's a lot of candidates and it, you don't need 50% of the vote to win. So, so what could happen is let's say 50.1% of people vote to recall Newsom. And let's see Larry Elder gets 15%, but everybody else gets less than 15% because there are 40 candidates. He becomes governor of California, which is pretty crazy but because you'll, you'll become governor of California with only 15% of the vote, but it could happen. Now, I have a feeling that Newsom's not going to lose the vote, but he's not going to be recalled. And, and the polls seem to suggest he's not going to be recalled, but we'll see. I mean, this is all in flux and it's hard to tell. Um, it, it, but um, cool. Let's, let's see him gone. I mean, uh, the, people are, the people are holding politicians' feet to the fire. Newsom was a disaster during COVID. Uh, let him be gone. Now, about Levy Elder himself, um, he's mostly in his career being tilted towards more libertarian than typical Republican. So he's he's got a lot of kind of the free market kind of stuff down. He is religious. And on his radio show, he does bring religion up quite a bit. Um, he never had me on his show partially because of the issue of religion. So he, he definitely, definitely, he, he, and I can't remember if he said anything about Rand or not, um, but uh, I just can't remember. But he, he's a little like Prager uh, in that sense, right? Uh, maybe less adamant about the religiosity than Prager, but he, he's, definitely, he's definitely religious. Um, he has, unfortunately, over the last few weeks, maybe the last few months, become more supporting of, of Trump's conspiratorial stuff, right? Because I think he senses he needs those votes. So when the election was over, he basically said, yeah, Trump lost, right? And now he's kind of repeating a lot of the conspiracy stuff. On COVID, he's vaccinated. But he has had on his show a lot of kind of wacky, um, uh, irreputable anti-vax types on the show. Um, 
So I don't know. I mean, you got to elect somebody. Uh, he seems like about as good as anybody else and, and maybe better. And it would be fun if he got elected because it would be such a shock to the system in California, right? It would just be, it would just blow their minds. Uh, how we could govern, I don't know, because the Democrats have super majorities in the Senate and the House in California. So it's not like he could do anything, right? He, he, but he could stop everything Democrats want to do. He'd veto everything. Now they might have a veto-proof majority, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, you know, do it. <laughs> just, uh, uh, you know, just to piss off the Democrats, it would be fun to watch. And, the, and he won't be able to do any damage because he can't get anything passed. So he can't do any bad things. He can only do good, is my assumption. Yeah, it seems like every rare opportunity there is to bring a little balance to the political system in California, we, we should seize on. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if he was really bad, I would say, no, no way. But he strikes me as, as, as good on a lot of things, put it that way. And without the kind of crazy tendencies that some have that uh, I've opposed in the past and will oppose in the future. Thanks. Thanks for pointing out some of the criticisms, too. I appreciate it. I don't, sure. have, I don't have a lot of background with them. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this, and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.